Today on Gearbox, we are looking at an 8x8 zone matrix switcher from Redback. This mm. is the A4480. Jason, what are your thoughts on this gizmo? Okay, we're very much in table 44. Your chicken parmigiana is ready territory here with this, and uh, that's not a bad thing. It's a good, solid installation product mm. uh, for when you need some inputs, some outputs, and some control, and some paging. And uh, it does a pretty good job of doing all of those things very simply. Yeah, I think simply is actually the, the key point here because we're in an age now where there's lots of open architecture stuff mm. floating around and that's great if you need that kind of flexibility. Mm. But if you just want something you can put in a rack, plug in a couple of zones, plug a couple of sources, bit of a paging system, you mm. know, th this is a, a very straightforward kind of way of doing it. Yeah, it has. It now, it's got enough digital smarts in it so you can save a few presets. You can actually plug a USB keyboard into the front of it, help you out naming inputs, mm. naming outputs. Uh, and we did that. It's very straightforward, very intuitive. We didn't really have to, uh, you know, get online or go to a training course or anything like that. Um, now, I think for my money, the wall plates and the Cat5 connection uh, really make this very, very easy. Yeah, to well, that's that's a really cool point, actually, because the wall plates, or the zone control plates, mm. you basically, you can just tap through your individual sources and confirm the choice. You can adjust your remote source volume. And if you've got local input via one of these, mm. these two just link together, yeah. little cable, um, then you can you can adjust that volume level too. But for me, the, the big win is, as you say, mm. the Cat5 connection. Mm. You just plug your Cat5 lead into this, mm. the other end goes into the back of the A4480, mm -hmm. and um, y you can have a huge distance on that, like I think it's yeah. 500 feet or something, yep. 1,000 yep. feet, yep. but it, it's more than you'd ever need yeah. Yeah. if you're distributing audio signal along the same sort of distance. So mm. I, I think you're, you're spot on with that. I think, mm. it's, um, I think it's definitely a win. I like this. I like that there's a little yeah. plate there. So once you set all your input trims and bass and treble settings for your individual sources, you pop that plate on, no mm. one can adjust those. Yeah, now it's interesting with, with some of the front panel lockout, there's like old school, you know, perspex plate physical lockout. You've got digital lockout if you feel like it over the presets and stuff like that. But yet the uh, the eight zone masters, the analog pots on the front, um, you can't apparently lock those out, which I just find a bit of an odd uh, thing. But, you know, that's okay. People um, shouldn't be playing with it anyway. Yeah, well, I guess, I mean, there's also the point, this is, this is an Ultronics product and, mm. um, uh, you can always get the Perspex cover that True. covers over the whole thing. I like the little uh, paging station. That's mm -hmm. that's good. That makes a lot of sense. You just push your buttons for the zones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. You get your little paging tone, you make your announcement, and um, good to Off go. Off you go, yeah. And again, very, very easy to set up. Simply plugged it in, and it was there. Uh, look, uh, integrates with eWIS on the back. It's affordable, it's simple, and it does exactly what it says on the front. Yeah.